Hi, welcome to another edition of Larry's First Impression Beer Reviews. Today I've got something that I don't normally dabble in, um, and I was kind of scared of it. Um, I got this through my um, co-worker's beer swap, and there is quite a discretionary label on the back of it. Um, I won't read the whole thing, but it's well worth getting this beer just so you can decide whether or not you are worthy. This is Arrogant Bastard Ale from, is it Stone Brewing? Is it Arrogant Brewing? Is it Arrogant Consortium? Don't really kind of know. Um, doing a little bit of reading online, the blurs of where this beer originated is pretty clear with Stone, but then apparently they branched off the Arrogant um, brand off into its own brand and now it's brewed in any number of places from the Great Divide to Maui Brewing wherever that's based at who knows um, Brew Dog wherever they brew their beer who knows and Maine Brewing who may or may not also be kind of um, on the fence of where that stuff's brewed that one there is more specific it kind of says that yeah I'm in Freeport Maine however just to go be a quick uh, overview. Uh, this is an American strong ale and it's kind of a catch-all kind of style that's recent and it just really describes is um, uh, uh, beers that are upwards of 7% to give it kind of the strong kind of category and then um, I think it was um, maybe it was Beer Advocate that described it as something on the line of an old ale or a barley wine. So this bad boy is 7% and um, it's got the mantra of hated by many, loved by few, you're not worthy. So today I feel worthy and I'm going to crack this bad boy and I'm going to give it a taste and I'm going to see whether or not it's worthy. So with that being said, let's uh, get right into it. Um, so like I said, 7.2% um, ABV. Um, American Strong Ale. So it's pouring off in a nice kind of golden color. And it's going to get a strong head on it. And kind of a caramely caramely color. The head is fantastic on there. I, I couldn't even finish pouring my bottle in there. I did get a little bit of aggressive with it, but um, that's got a nice head on it. Uh, really tight, really tight bubbles on it. I don't smell anything too crazy coming off the can. Um, definitely going to be uh, a malty beer, although I have a little bit of a hop nose um, aroma come off of it. Not overwhelming. Um, so let's see if now this if anything it's got just a mild uh, malt aroma to it. Nothing else. It smells like Smells like I got a smells like I got a beer. Okay, so I'm feeling a little more confident now. I think maybe maybe arrogant bastard is just trying to trick me with some uh, cute marketing in the buying their beer. So here we go. Um, I'm feeling like I'm worthy. Well, I'm not in the group that hates it, and I'm not in the group that loves it. Um, I'm thinking maybe it might be more on the side of uh, clever marketing, although, um, okay, so this bottle has got a little bit of a aftertaste to it. And, and not a delicious one. So I wonder if this is a 
older bottle. Don't know. It's available year long, so it could possibly be a little bit on the old side. Um, bottom of the can. Oh, it does have. All right. So their code dating is poor. Smeared off the side of the can. Can't really read it. So uh, their operators and their quality control people kind of missed that one. Anyway. Um, so just a little bit of humor or a little bit of um, history behind it. I mentioned earlier in the interest entry that Stone Brewing uh, started Arrogant Bastard and then they used Arrogant Bastard and then now they're making an Arrogant or, 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 or a Bastard line, if you will. Um, with American Air Bastard being their year-round flagship. Um, I, I do enjoy all the story in the back of the bottle, or the back of the can, excuse me, that is basically daring you to drink this beer and saying you are not worthy, you're probably not going to like it. Um, if so, uh, on you, right? But, uh, I gotta tell you, um, it might be worthwhile just to see whether or not you're worthy. Anyway, um, Stone Brewing or Arrogant Brewing or Arrogant Consortium, whoever the hell you are, here's to you. I feel like I'm worthy now. I feel like maybe you might not be worthy of my palate. So anyway, cheers. Yeah, not my favorite.